Welcome back to the Ridgeview High School Modern U.S. History class, Vietnam Veteran Interviews. Today, Drew Knapp interviews Jay Wallace. Jay shares his experiences of serving during Vietnam, but not in Vietnam. Hello, I'm Drew Knapp at the Ridgeview High School. I am currently a senior, and I'm here with... Jay Wallace. I'm here to ask him a couple of questions about his time during uh, service. So Jay, what branch of the military did you serve in? I served in the U.S. Army, and I would have to say that I'm a, a Vietnam era veteran because we say the guys who went to Vietnam uh, are Vietnam vets, and those of us who served during the same time period, we say Vietnam era veterans. Were you drafted or did you enlist? I did both, kind of. Uh, I went. I was in college, and I was a divinity student, but I felt like I owed my country some service, and so I went down and signed up for the draft, and that was in 1966, and uh, things were going along pretty good in Vietnam at that time, and well, you, you go in to serve and whatever happens is what happens. How long was basic training and what was it like? It was, uh, as Charles Dickens would say, the best of times and the worst of times, and mostly the worst of times. <laughs> <laughs> like It was six weeks or eight weeks. And then afterwards we had uh, what they called advanced individual training and that was the best of times part. We went to, I was assigned in Port Sam Houston, Texas, because as a conscientious objector, I wasn't going to bear arms, but I could serve as a medic. Did you have like special training for being a medic? Or? Oh, absolutely. They, the basic medical training is for combat medic. Mm. Were you in Vietnam or did you? Were you well, stationed somewhere else? I was stationed in Korea, and the way, it's kind of an interesting story behind that. On the day we graduated from uh, uh, AIT training, which was also the culmination of our uh, medic training, uh, we graduated from that, and the commander came out, and he said, there's no fair way to do this. Half of you are going to Vietnam and the other half will be assigned to other duty stations around the world. And this is how it's going to be. And he put a steel ruler up on the podium and he took the duty roster and he tore it in half. And he said, this half, which was the bottom half, and I was glad to be named Wallace, <laughs> is going to vary, are going to various duty stations around the world and this half is going to Vietnam. How did you feel going into the military? I felt pretty patriotic going in. That probably lasted till about the end of basic training. How did you feel about your role? How did you feel about going somewhere else that's not Vietnam? Uh, I felt fortunate because I lost friends in Vietnam. What was the most challenging for, thing for you about being a Vietnam era veteran? In the service or out of the service? Um, I'm going to say in. In the service. Well, it was being a conscientious objector in the military uh, with very little, uh, I, I couldn't say very little understanding in uh, pre-basic training there was very little understanding of what that meant. And uh, it was about a week before I got shipped to uh, Texas for my basic training. And during that week, uh, it was kind of uh, like hell week. And uh, they really tested you and, and uh, I mean, emotionally tested you, in your face tested you. Like, why are you such a coward and why won't you bear weapons and all of that? Did you have any free time when you were stationed? And if so, what did you do? We did have free time. And because I was a divinity-oriented guy, wanted to do ministry when I got out eventually and did eventually go into the ministry. I spent a lot of time actually with missionaries in Seoul. How did you feel when you came, when you came back home? 
very glad to be back home on American soil. I think I was one of those guys that kissed the ground when we <laughs> got down. Thank you, Jay, for sharing your experiences with us. We really appreciate your honesty. Thank you for your service. Join us next week as Deshaun Duckett interviews Charlie Reese. That interview will conclude our initial year of this class project, and then in mid-February 2019, we'll have more veterans' experiences to share with you then.